Let's say that you've got a spreadsheet with a clock in time and a clock out time, and you want to know the total hours worked. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that and stick around till the end because I'll show you how to take it a step further and count the number of hours worked by certain employee names or IDs. The first thing that we're going to want to do is make sure that the times that we have entered in our spreadsheet are in a time format. In order to do this, I'm going to highlight the area that the times appear. So in my example, I'm going to hold down on A2 with my mouse and drag it down to B10, it looks like right here. Once it's highlighted, we're going to want to go to this area up here and click this drop down. And you can see down below that time is an option. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on that. And already, I'm glad that I did that because I can see a problem. When I typed in the data, I intended it to be clock in at 7.59 a.m. and then clock out around 4.52 p.m. And you can see that Excel just defaulted to seeing that as a.m. But luckily for us, we can just double click into the cell and I'm gonna convert this to p.m. And we're gonna skip ahead with editing and I'm gonna have it all converted to p.m. And now that I'm all converted, I'm good to go. So I made another column here in column C and I labeled it total hours. And this is gonna be super straightforward. I'm gonna click into the first cell that I want it to appear in, which is cell C2 here, and I'm gonna just type equals, and then I'm gonna click on the clock out time, I'm gonna type minus, and then the clock in time. So in this example, it's B2 minus A2. And once I have it like this, I'm just gonna to need to click enter, and you can see that the total hours worked appeared. So in this instance, with the clock in time of 7.59 and a clock out time of 4.52, that's eight hours and 53 minutes. Now we don't need to type this every single time. I'm gonna click on the cell that we just typed that little formula in. And when I move my cursor to the bottom right like this, you can see that it converts into this symbol, kind of like a black T. Once that black T appears, I'm just gonna quick double click on my mouse. And when I did that, the formula dragged down and now it's taking, for example, in cell C3, it's taking the clock in time of 6.42, clock out time of 5.06, and so on. So now that we've got the basics, let's take this a step further. I'm going to add a column with employee names. And now what I want to see here is the total hours that each of these employees worked. So how about I scroll over to the right here and I say total Dale and then total Lori. Now in order to get the total for both, we're going to do what's called a sum if function. So I'm going to start by clicking equals sum if with an open parentheses. The first thing that we're going to need to do is highlight the area that's going to have that distinguishing characteristic that we need to excel to kind of differentiate the data by. So in this example, what I mean by that is we need to highlight the area that the name appears in. So in this example, it's column C. So I can actually just scroll up top here and click on the C column and then I'm good to go. And once I've clicked on that, I can click on comma to move to the next section, which is the criteria it's called. And all this means is what do you want me to look for? So in the range, you know, the previous area that we just did, we told Excel where to look, and now it's saying, what do you want me to look for? And in this example, the answer to that is Dale. So I'm gonna put in quotation marks, Dale. And it's important that you put that name in quotation marks because anytime you tell Excel to look for a text, it needs to be in quotations in order for it to understand that it's a text. Once I have that spelt out, I'm gonna click comma one more time, and then I just need to click on the sum range, which is pretty much Excel saying, okay, I know what to look for, I know where to look for it, now what do you want me to add? So in this example, we wanted to add the total hours. So I just need to click on column D, similar to how I did before, but D this time instead of C. And your formula should look something like this in this example. And then I'm going to close the parentheses, type enter. And you can see that Excel returned 1.49, which might seem a little bit off, but what Excel is doing here is it's returning it in the number of days that worked. So 24 hours in a day, it's one and a half days. So it's giving you this number. Now, if you have a situation where this isn't really practical and you don't really want it in days, you just want it in hours, it's pretty simple. Right next to the cell, we can just do equals, reference the 1.49, and then I'm gonna do multiplied by 24, because 24 hours in a day, of course, click enter, and then you can see that Dale worked 35.8 hours. 
I'm going to do the same thing for Lori down below. The formula is going to look exactly the same. I'm just going to type out Lori instead of Dale, and I'm going to click Enter. And you can see that she worked a lot more than Dale did. I'm going to take this times 24 as well. And yep, you can see that she worked 53.2667 hours. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks again.